Hey guys, what's going on? Jerome here, reporting from the Minecraft server for Awesome Sauce Films, or the BYD But Why Dude server. And uh, yeah, so if you guys don't know already, it's open whenever we decide to do live streams, and whenever we're not live streaming, you have to purchase a whitelist for it to uh, join in. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a whitelist from. The point of that isn't so much to make money as it is really to pay back for the server because it's expensive, and also because we figure it'll get rid of griefers, because what griefer is going to come on a server that they have to pay for? They're going to focus on the free server. Servers. It really isn't that costly either. But regardless, it's not what I'm trying to talk about here. What I'm talking about is how to use the different uh, ma uh, Minecraft arenas in this like entire server and uh, all the cool features that come about it. So anyway, first one you can do is well, what you should do is find out the different types of arenas there are. It's it's called a townie mod that allows you to do this stuff. So the best way to do is have in dash m a arenas. Now that'll bring up a list. See, so you're up Time Chamber, Sea, Mountain, On a Boat, Hippodome, and Academy. So now what you do is then you type in MA, Join, and you choose one of them. Um, I'll choose On a Boat. So you do MA, Join, On a Boat. And remember, all commands you have to put slash first. Um, so here we go. We have, you can hit either of the signs to get whatever you want. You could be the Chef, which has all that food mostly and some really weak armor he's mostly just the food kind of guy he also like gives out to his teammates the herp derp is a class we made up gives you a lot of food not too good armor not too good of a sword but it gives you tnt and flint and steel which is kind of just a joke we put in there uh next we have the archer lots of ranged but bad armor next we have the tank my favorite personally it only comes with a st iron sword but full diamond armor and you have the knight with a diamond sword and iron armor the opposite of the tank i choose the tank though that's my favorite so so once you do that guys, the way you get ready is you can have as many people in there as you want, then you go over to this block and you press the ready up button, see how it just everything starts going, and uh, now you're ready to go. So it says let the slaughter begin, and uh, it'll start you off on wave 1, and slowly you have to wake your way up through the waves by uh, killing all these enemies. Now the way it goes is, we've set it up a different way than some people do. Some people have it set up where uh, you get money depending on how many people you kill. We set it up differently. We set it up so that you get money depending on what wave you're on. So each wave you pass gives you $10, just give you a little consistency. And uh, notice how it progressively gets harder. Like last time it was um, one arrow guy and, uh, and a uh, wolf. Now it's two zombies and a wolf. So it'll slowly get harder and harder and not that bad. And uh, if you're wondering, what can I use the money for? I'll make a tutorial on it in the future, but basically you can use it to buy land and make your own town so it's protected from like enemies and things like that. So you notice how now it's getting even harder. Slowly it'll get harder, but along with money, you'll also unlock different uh, items. Now the items, of course, saw off badly depending on the wave. Like you just saw, if you looked in the commands, you can see right there, I got one bone. So yeah, th they start off pretty bad. You get one bone. But they start progressively getting higher to, I don't really know the exact wave it happens on, perhaps on wave like 10, you'll start to unlock something uh, like diamond or a diamond sword or something like that. So, and those of course can be used outside the arena. Now one thing to keep in mind is you can't use your sword, like you know, whatever weapon you decide to be using. You can't use that uh, inside the arena, and you can't use any kind of weapons or items inside the arena. You have to use the ones that are given to you at the things, at the signs at the beginning. Now, not all the arenas are set up like that with the signs. The other ones are set up with a sign on top of a block. All you have to do is hit the block, and you'll get the item needed. And, of course, I don't know if I explained it well enough. Basically, when you're all ready to go, you and all your friends, or if it's just you, there'll be an iron block in the corner of the map, or in the corner of the uh, arena waiting room. And uh, all you have to do is have every single person, or if it's just you, just you, hit that block, and you're ready to go and start off the... Uh, your gameplay. So that's really how you use it. Now I'm just gonna for the rest of the time show you guys a little bit of the arena like gameplay and things like that and uh, I don't know just a little fun and once again guys it's a great server I'll leave the IP address in the description for you guys to check out and uh, it is a lot of fun. Really Mitch just needed me to do a tutorial for it so I decided that uh well hell I'll do a tutorial for the arena. Now no promises I'm usually not very good at this so I'm surprised I've lasted this long and uh, oh yeah if you look you can see I just pulled up, I just pressed the command tab so you can see the uh the different types of uh, levels you can get. If you notice, see it says sword skill increased by one. You get skills in different tasks. So you can get it in swords, you can get it in axes, and they all do different things. Like the sword skill can allow you to parry, which means that if someone hits you every once in a while, they won't do any damage because you parry their uh, weapon. You know what I mean? So like you just block their weapon basically with your weapon you're holding. The axe guy hits extremely powerful. And also you get power ups depending, and they last longer and they have a shorter cooldown time depending on what level you are. So you right click, you ready your sword, you ready? 
and now it's just uh, serrated strikes activated. But then see how it wears off quickly, because I'm a very small level compared to, I think you can get up to like level 400. And now if you look, this is where I get really good items. I got four gravel and eight gold ingots. So the gold I'm starting to get now. So that's really how you start getting all like the good items. And the thing we like about this is it provides a way to make it a challenge that you can't just claim a town without actually having experience. And at the same time, your items, you know what I mean? It gives you a way to unlock all these cool items besides just making them yourself, which can be extremely difficult. We might uh, edit some of the items you can get, like make it so you can get some tools, but so far it's mostly just, uh, really given out. We do give out, like, gravel and blocks and, uh, mine carts, random stuff. Like, that was, like, one stick right there, so I got a bad drop. And, uh, you know, it's just, it alternates every once in a while. So, really, it all depends on how far you get and just, that's basically it, really, how far you get and you'll get the better rewards. And I know that uh, it seems like a lot to get a uh, $1,000 town, but if you notice already, this film has been on for like 5-6 minutes, uh, it's wave 13, I've already got $130, so I'm already more than one-tenth of the way there, more than 10% of the way there. So if I spent like, I'd say half an hour, I could easily have a house bought. You know what I mean? It's it's not really anything that special. And plus, in the future, we may change it to each mob that's killed gives you money as well. And that might make it a little faster for everyone. In that scenario, you might be able to get it, like, I don't know the exact numbers, but I would suggest maybe in uh, as much as 10 minutes maybe even to get that much. At least that's what it used to be when I used to play on a server like that. See, now things are getting hard because I no longer have food, so I can't really regenerate my health when I lose it. So uh, it seems like things are going to be going a little bit bad from here on out, and I think I might end up dying here. Yeah, this is this is too much. See what ends up happening is you get trapped in a corner, which is a bad idea, and then you die. Well, anyway, guys, then after that, you end up outside the arena, and hold on, see our best drop. There we go. We actually, from that, we got uh, only an iron sword, but we did get eight gold ingots and an iron sword. So now all you do to officially leave and go back to where you started was dash, M-A, leave. Doesn't matter which arena you're in, just type that in, and bam. You can also leave an arena early to do that, uh, although I would suggest just finishing out the fight, because I don't think you get the items if you leave an arena early. I think it's like a punishment, kind of. But you will still get the money for it, just not the items. Well, anyway, guys, I hope that kind of uh, answered a lot of your questions, if you had any, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I have uh, enjoyed trying to show you guys some of this, and uh, I've enjoyed overall the server as a whole. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot more stuff to show you in the future. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you on the server soon, and goodbye.